Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. We're going to start our setup on the CC3D board here for our little quad. This will work for the 1410 uh, version. That's what I've got on there, or we're going to make sure it's on there. The first thing you need to do is go to the Open Pilot website and download the most current software, uh, wiki.openpilot.org, and then downloads. And they, they do a very good job of telling you what you need to do. As you can see here, a whole bunch of instructions with some red, important, important, important words. You find your software to download 1410, uh, whatever software window you're using. Uh, I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, so that's what we're going to watch. So we're going to do this part right here where it says uninstall and do all this stuff. So we're skipping. Uh, I've already done step one. I've done step two. And now we're going to go here to step three. So the firmware tab, which is down here at the bottom. And click that. All right, firmware. So it's saying there's nothing you know, going on. So now we're going to continue down here. Uh, the next step is with the board unplugged, click the rescue button and then connect the board. Now what I like to do is have my board plugged in with the on a USB cord here it goes right here and instead of disconnecting and connecting from the actual board I just plug and disconnect it from the computer uh, the USB port so now it's plugged in so we're gonna it says when the board's unplugged click the rescue button that's this one now it says connect your open pilot board we're gonna connect it to the computer I'm just gonna leave it connected to the quadcopter okay Found one device and click erase settings. It's this one. Click that. Yes, I do want to erase all settings. Okay, it says wait approximately 30 seconds. And see, you can see this message came up because the firmware on the board is 1406 and I'm going to be putting 1410 on there. So that, that's okay that this can't come up. Now we're going to click the auto update button up here auto update now you have to disconnect it and then reconnect it so again follow directions is key to this otherwise it won't work now it's uploading and now you see there's it's uploading and here it tells you what's on the board see it says 1406.01 that's going to change to 1410 here shortly if we do this right Board was updated successfully. Press OK to finish. I was, I usually just kind of wait. There we go. Now, look here, 1410. Uh, what you don't want to see is a red boot. Uh, anything red here is bad. This is normal because input means we don't have anything inputting and output, we don't have any output. It's, it's not configured right. So those reds are OK. And that's it for getting the board to the most current firmware. Another video, which will be next, to watch how to go through the setup on this 1410. And I'm actually using a Revo, but it's the same thing.